guys, it's Wonder Woman Summer, and today I'm going to be doing an creative sim. We're going to be doing Lady and the Tramp. I'm going to be doing the 1955 version, the cartoon version. So we're going to start with Lady. Okay. So Lady is an adult when we see her. Her voice is, I think it's a girl. Yeah, it's a female. That's squeaky, clear, tough, deep, and then we have Fox. I'm gonna leave it there. So, I'm already going to start with the dog breed. It's kind of annoying that I can't move the, like, clock. So, her dog breed is Cocker Spaniel. So, it's all the way up here with the C's. I think we're in the E's. I don't see it. Boxers, Doberman. Where is she? Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm not even collected. I'm not even on the dog breed. Breeds. Okay, there. So now we're typing in stuff and don't even know. Aw, that's cute. That's a boxer. Which is cute. Um, oh. Is it a corgi? Cardigan Welsh corgi. That is so cute. Okay, what are we doing? Fox. I think we passed. There she is. English cover spaniel. It doesn't yet look like much, but we're gonna start with the ears first. Now, lady's ears are really, really long, so we're gonna go with the longest pair of ears. Those are the longest. Um, her hair. I don't even know if we could do fur. Ears head shape yeah we can't even do like so that's like the longest pair of ears that they have yeah that's the longest pair of ears that they have um so her eyes are her eyes are light brown so let's do something with that let's go yeah that's perfect so she has like, um, I don't think we could do anything with the eyebrows. The head pretty much looks okay. Now for the fur, she has like this white, um, let me see something. No, shouldn't have touched that. I just want where the stomach is. I just really want where the stomach is. Let's see. Uh. Uh. Make that a little bit lighter. That's a little bit better. Um, I'm actually looking at the um pictures from Google. She has like this white. Uh, I don't know if I can get it. Let me see something. Nose. Her nose is black. So let's go with that. Her nose is black. Um, her snout is kind of small. I don't know if we can resize the snout. I mean, I think this is small as it's gonna go. Eyes, nose, head shape. Okay, let's go back to body. Let's go to her fur coat. Um, this is the coat that's currently... Oh, no. Eh. Eh. Her whole body is wavy, but... I'm trying to get it 
to Oh, well that's fun. I'll probably just leave it as is. The tail... Her tail is really small. So we're gonna select this one. Because she has a very small tail. I cannot... I want the ears to be a different color. And body breeds, tails, fur, paint mode. I don't want to, but we're just probably gonna have to go into paint mode and probably do this because her ears are very, very darker. Okay, so what do I want to do? I don't want a mirror anything i want this color to be right here let me see what that looks like that's looking a little bit more like how i want it to look okay i thought all was going to be lost when doing this so i'm just trying to get the ears i feel like now that it's darker you can see like the texture of the fur which is what i wanted to happen and I have to do like a spot. Okay, this is looking a lot better. Let's see here. Oh, shit. I got a little bit. Let's undo that. Okay. Pretty good. Trying to be like really, really careful, which is hard. Okay. Just go over a little bit over here. Perfect. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to undo that. Okay. Oh, we could zoom in. Why am I like so dumb? I don't know. We'll just color the inside of the ear. I don't know if our insides are colored in. Should have known it would have let us zoom in. I'm going to color the ears because I'm already doing it. I feel like the inside of a dog's ear is a little bit lighter because I looked at Kujo's ears and his is a little bit lighter. Okay, so let's turn the dog. Let's turn Lady. Oh my god. I meant to turn her, not do that. Okay, let's turn. Okay, the ears look good. Let me get up in here real quick. Okay. You guys don't know how close I was to freaking out. I thought, like, because I was literally in here playing with the painting with, like, create a sim, and then I realized there was a cocker spaniel, and then I started going and started um, creating Lady and then I was like why am I not filming this? This could be a YouTube video. I haven't done like a create a sim. That's good because I cannot. Oh my god. Oh I do need to get the belly though. When she stands up I don't think. I think it's just. 
Uh, I just need to get right up in here. And then, right up in there. Oh well. Horrible, horrible. I'm probably gonna speed this up. Okay, that's good. So, she has like this streak on her face. Like on her snout. I really do feel like her snout needs to be too skinny. This will be a good blend. Because her chest is a little bit buffed out. So, um, let's body. I think we are going to have to edit the head shape. I think we are going to have to edit the head shape. Um, Oh wow, no. No. Okay, so we do not need to do any of that. This is what happens when you're experimenting and touching stuff. Already done ears. I can't like physically edit. Um, she does have very prominent brows, so I am gonna go in there and paint. I'm probably gonna do it in the same brown. And I am going to zoom all the way in so that I really do not mess it up. I am going to have it mirrored. I do want to turn down the brush size a bit. And... Um... Her eyebrows are a little bit more pointier, so I'm going to... That should do it. I think it brings it out a little bit better. Okay, so let's get out of paint mode. She's starting to look like a little lady. So now we just need the chest part where she has like the split. We need to do the chest and we need to do the forehead. And we do need to... Um, I'm not going to put her in any clothing. But I am going to put her in a leash. Well, they have cute little dresses. That's cute, or whatever. I'm gonna... Her color is blue, so I'm gonna leave it like that, the blue color. And I'm gonna go in, and I'm going to go into paint mode. Yet again, we're gonna take a brush. We're gonna take the same color. Now, we're gonna take a lighter color. Um, uh, Maybe, like, this color. And we are not gonna mirror. I think it's a good tool, but we're not going to mirror. Um, I'm going to take a bigger brush size. And I'm going to have her sit down. So I can get like the perfect U shape. So like, right. Mm, that's a little bit. Let's go a little bit lighter. Let's see something. I uh, still want to be a little bit lighter. Let's do this one. 
Okay, turn up the brush size a bit. Can you guys, like, see the difference? So... I think I'm gonna have to go a bit lighter. Yeah, that's perfect. And go right up in here. Lydia and the Tramp is like my favorite all time. So, that's looking good. Um, I'm gonna have to... Let's put her on all fours. Now, when she walks, she does have the fronts of her paws a little bit white. So I'm gonna do that. We're trying to make it as detailed as possible. Oops. With the paws. And then come in here and just boop. And right there and boop. Perfect. Let's get this last paw. She is really starting to look like Lady. Let me get right up in here. I'm trying to make her as very detailed as possible. Um, what else? So, I just need to get the snout. So, let me zoom in. So, like, right in here. So I'm going to go from right here. Shit. I need to turn down the brush size a bit. I'm turning the brush size a bit more. And... Perfect. And I want to get right up in here and make like a little ball, if you will, because that's what she has on top of her head. Mm, maybe overdid it. Let me put another streak right there, and then another streak to even it out. Looks a little bit better. I need to turn her to the side because right around where her mouth is, is where it's going to end. So I'm going to put it right here, and then I'm going to, wow, we should have mirrored it. And then we're just going to color all of this in. She is looking really good. Let me turn her over a little bit. There we go. And get in the rest of this. And as close to the nose as we possibly can. Perfect. Turner, make sure we didn't miss a spot. Looks good. Oops. Went a bit too far. Right in here is what I was trying to get. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We have the signature white parts of her chest and her face let's zoom out let's exit out of this this is lady i can't get the head to do what i want so i mean to each is on the fur pattern is dead on the tail is right the body is right and she's so cute when she sits down. Look how cute that is. Cute. I just wish I could make her face look a little bit more feminine. 
but this is kind of like what we have. So I'm gonna do her traits. She's not stubborn. She is very vocal. She is hairy and she is playful. Look how cute that is. Um, this is my part of Lady. I need to name her. Um, since Sims is doing maintenance, I don't think I could add her to the gallery. I don't even know what her last name is. Let me Google it last. Name. They did do a um remake of it. They did do a remake of it, like a live action. I'm really happy with the, her markings. So I'm going to name her Deer because like Jim Deer and Darling Deer. So it would be more fitting if she had the same last name as them. So, this is how she's looking. She looks pretty good. I just wish I could make her a little bit more effeminate. I think I was true with her markings and her coloring. Her ears are a little bit darker. They match her, her eyebrows and she does have like a little white spot. I think I might need to touch it up. I don't know. But I'm overall happy with her. I'm actually going to save household she looks so cute um this part went on a little bit longer than it actually was so i'm gonna do a part two of the tramp so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always thank you for watching